So I've slipped, I've threw the to there. On this video, I'm gonna give you four different variations of the lead hook. The lead hook is probably the most awkward punch to learn when you first start learning boxing, but after time, when you start to perfect this punch, it can be the most devastating punch that you've got in your arsenal. So here it is, the four different variations of the lead hook. Number four is by far my favorite, so make sure you check it out. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist, seven times national champion, European champion, and former undefeated professional boxer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So the lead hook, this is your left hand if you're orthodox. If you're southpaw, it's gonna be your right hand. I'm orthodox, so it's my left hand. Before I get into showing you the lead hook, I wanna just talk about how you set up this shot. If I'm in my correct boxing stance here, which I'm in, I can't really just throw a hook. I mean, I could, but it will be so hard to get power into the punch because here, you're not really set up to throw a good solid hook. You need to be in this position. My back heel's off the ground, I've got my weight on my front foot. This puts me in the perfect position to be able to throw that hook. So how do I get into this position? You could throw a straight right hand. If I throw a straight right hand, the weight's onto my front foot, which has put me in the perfect position to throw that lead hook. Another thing I can do is slip. Let's visualize that there's someone's thrown a cross at me. I've slipped, put me in that perfect position to come back with that hook to the head or hook to the body. And the other way you could throw it is if it's off an uppercut. Basically, anything you throw with your back hand sets you up to throw that left hook. Because if you're throwing the back hand correctly, whether it's a straight or uppercut or a rear hook, you're putting that weight on the front foot, which like I see, it puts you in the perfect position to get lots of power into that hook. So now getting into the variations. Variation one I'm gonna show you is gonna be the mid-range hook. This is the most common hook. This is the first punch that you'll learn when you start learning boxing as a beginner. So I'm gonna start off at this angle so you can see my body positioning as I'm throwing that mid-range hook. So I'm gonna slip. Now this puts me in this position. The weight's on the front foot, the back heel's off the ground. All I'm gonna do is drop that back heel and bring the front heel off the ground, and then turn into the hook. So now we know what to throw to get us into that position to throw the hook. Now I want to talk about when you actually are throwing the hook. So let's see, I've done a slip. I'm in this position here with the weight on the front leg. I'm going to throw the mid-range hook. I'm going to drop that back heel, bring the front heel off the ground. And now a lot of people will like to put their thumb facing them, the palm down. I like to have my palm facing. I feel like it's less chance of getting injured my arm's stronger, and as well, it's less rotation if you're throwing it like this. But if you are comfortable throwing the hook with your palm facing down, that's totally fine as well. This is kind of preference, whatever you like. So I've slipped, I threw the mid-range hook there. Now my thumb's up top, my right hand's by the face, my arm's on a perfect 90 degree angle. That's the mid-range hook, that's strong. If you see the front heel's off the ground, the back heel's on the ground, I'm staying relaxed, and I've got my chin down as well. Now I'm gonna show you that on the heavy bag. I'll show you from this angle so you can see the, the body positioning. So I'm here in front of the bag, in the boxing stance position, I've slipped, the back heel's off the ground, the 60% of the weight's went to the front foot. I'm gonna drop that back heel, bring the front heel off the ground, throw the mid-range hook. <laughs> now I want you to watch the front heel. So I, I've, I've slipped, I drop the back heel, front heel comes off, boom, it's there, there. That's the mid-range hook. Now variation number two, which is the short-range hook. Same things apply, slipping inside, turning your hips, transferring your weight, keeping the thumb up top, but this time, your hand is closer to your face. Because if you think you're fighting up inside, you're close inside, you've slipped, boom, there. That's the mid-range, the short-range, it's closer. This is a great shot to throw when you're inside. I used to love to throw a little uppercut and then around the side. Bah, bah. If your opponent's head's right on top of you there. If you don't transfer your weight on this, you're going to get no power. Transfer your weight is so important with this. If I'm here, I'm not getting no power. But there, boom, I can get power. Because you're so close up to it, you need to transfer that weight. I'll show you on the bag. So I'm close up. Now, if I don't, transfer the weight, I'm getting no power. As soon as I transfer the weight, I mean, you can hear the difference there. 
I'm getting maximum power. I'll show you from this angle, not transferring the weight. Now I will transfer the weight. Big, big difference. That's the short range hook. Now the long range hook. I used to love throwing this as an amateur boxer. I used to practice it all the time on the heavy bags, in sparring, on the mitt work with my trainers. And I used to have so much success throwing this punch in fights. So the difference between the long range compared to the short range or the mid range is you don't necessarily always have to slip or transfer your weight to the front to throw that hook. You can throw it just from the boxing stance here. And because it is longer, you're gonna get more power because it's got further to travel. And now with this one, I used to love to turn my hand around like this. So I'm hitting with these knuckles here. Reason being, if you throw a long range hook like this, it's gonna look like a slap or it will be a slap. But when you turn it, you know, you're gonna hit with your knuckles. Now this punch is great to set up other shots. Now if you think I'm standing in front of you and I throw that long hook there, you're in your stance. How are you gonna defend it? Chances are you defend it by moving your hand back. That leaves your right open for the right hand. So I'd throw that one, boom, boom. I'd throw that long hook to get you to open the guard. Then I'd go straight down the middle with that solid right hand. Then another good thing what it's great for is for pivoting. If someone's coming forward, especially a shorter opponent, if you can throw a pivot hook, it's great. It's hard to get the timing down, but it's such a great shot. And it'll look like this. Yeah, I'll show you again. So what I do there, I'm leaning back and throwing the long hook. If you think someone's short of coming towards me, I've changed the angle, let them run that way, and then I can work from a different angle as well. Super advanced, but such a great shot and great technique. Now variation four, my favorite punch of all, is the lead hook to the body. I love this punch. I stopped so many opponents with this. I kind of mastered this punch over years and years of practice, of perfect practice. With this punch, you don't have to transfer your weight and throw that punch and transfer it to your front foot, to your back foot. You can do that, but you don't have to do that. There's a couple of different ways of throwing this hook. You can throw it the traditional way where I'm inside. And if you notice there, I've brought the weight to the front foot. If he's elbows there, I'm gonna try and really turn my hip and drive through like this. Again. And that's the way that everyone gets taught to throw the hook. But my favorite way, my little secret way, would be this up here. And if you notice there, I do nothing that I've spoke about on the previous three hooks. I'm standing tall, upright, not even turning my hips, but I'm getting enough power in there to be able to hurt him, or to get him to drop his hands to leave him open for the hook to the head. And then on the second hook to the head, then I can transfer that weight. I'll show you from this side. So I'm here, through that hook there. I've not transferred any weight, but my back heel's off the ground. I'm just gonna drop that back heel and throw the other hook to the head. Boom, it'll look like this. Yeah. Great, great shot. And that's it there, the four variations of the hook. If you enjoyed this video, click here or here to see my other videos and subscribe to this channel where I upload everything. Boxing education, boxing fight breakdowns, all things boxing. Thank you for watching.